Hey guys, it's Deanna Nicole with SheVenturesNow.com, host of She Ventures Now podcast on iTunes. But guess what? I didn't come here to promote my upcoming group coaching services. I came here to just really talk to you guys about the reflections that I've been having while I'm preparing for Hurricane Irma because I am stationed, I reside in South Florida, Broward County. And one of the things that I've been thinking about is, you know, we, we, in South Florida, we're inundated we're in a good way. We're, thank God that we have such live updates about where the storm is heading, Hurricane Irma. Irma. If you're familiar with Hurricane Matthew, Hurricane Matthew last year hit um, the east coast of Florida, but it really kind of bypassed Broward County, Miami-Dade County for a bit, and it really hit more like central, north central Florida, and even northern Florida, Jacksonville. But Hurricane Irma is literally projected to hit and, and hit inland of Florida, so we're all preparing. And in the midst of my preparation, um, you know, I've just been really thinking about like some of what are the power questions that I'm even coaching myself through as I prepare for a hurricane of this magnitude. And I can't tell you, the biggest thing that has stuck out to me, I can tell you, <laughs> the biggest thing that has stuck out to me has been um, this one question, this one question. It's been giving me a lot of peace. Um, the question is, have I been showing up in the world the way that I feel called to show up in the world? And you know, for the first time in a really long time, I can really honestly answer that and say yes. But what I want to pitch to anyone that's watching that is a millennial woman is this. Have you been showing up in the world the way that you feel called to show up in the world? And what that question should cause you to tease out is, one, are you working in an arena where you feel like you're operating in your zone of genius? Your zone of genius, it's that sweet spot of your strongest skill sets, gifts, talents, your passions and dreams, and the theme, in, the theme of interest over the arc of your life. And then the things that you know you just that just energize you, the things that you want to be remembered for. It's that sweet spot of those three things. That's your zone of genius. If you don't feel like you're living out your purpose, then probably you're not showing up in the world the way that you want to. And what I've been finding is giving me a lot of peace, and it's the peace that I would want to impart to anyone that's listening. It's while you are becoming more reflective during a storm, because that's what storms do, they make you more reflective. Think about this. What are you going to do post-storm to ensure that you show up in the world the way that you feel called to show up in the world? That's what I want to encourage you to do is take time to reflect on that. Take time to answer that question. Take time to think about what did you do the last time the hurricane hit? Did you go back to that job that you hate? Did you, did you even resolve to make some changes? What obstacles got in the way? And holla at me. Let me know what your answer is. Let me know how um, storms of life really make you think about uh, how you want to live and how you want to change. All right. Bye.